Hi, my name is Tom Lyons. I work for ESRO UK, the European Space Education Resources Office. I'm going to show you the Mission X pages today. So the UK Mission X page and the Train Like an Astronaut page, which is linked out from it. This is the page that's on stem.org.uk, which is the uh, website that you can access many resources from, which we can show you another time. The first thing that we're going to have a look at on here is if you scroll down towards the bottom, there's a link called Getting Started. So I'm going to click that one. That link takes you through to two further links on there. One of them is the Mission X Training Center, and one of them is Mission Data, which is both external links go out to the Train Like an Astronaut website. So the first one I'm going to click on is actually the Mission Data link. So this takes you through to the Train Like an Astronaut website. And you can see there's a list of activities you can access on this site. I'm just going to pick on one of the activities here, which is the base station and walk back. So if I open up the student handout for the base station walk back, you can see what the mission assignment is. And you can also see something called fitness accelerations. Okay. There's something that's on the points rubric about fitness accelerations. So the best place to find out about those is on the student handouts so that you can score the students for it. Now you score the students as a, as a team. And if we go back into the mission data page, and we scroll right to the bottom past all the activities, you can see that at the bottom there we have a, a points rubric. Okay, so if we open that one out, we can see that you put the team name, what activity they were doing. This is for physical activities, this sheet. Uh, and as I just mentioned, there's the fit, fitness accelerations. So you look at whether how, how much of the activity was kind of completed, the fitness accelerations which are outlined on the sheet, how much effort they put in, how much uh, understanding of the space-related aspects there were, and some mark for the teamwork and fun in there. And you can see, because there's five categories, we can give up to 20 points per category, giving a total of 100 points maximum for that particular activity. So depending on what percentage was completed by the group, you can allocate a performance indicator, a certain number of points on there. And it's suggested that team leaders should submit their points to the Train Like an Astronaut website once a week. There's also, um, go back into that. There is also a rubric for the educational activities, which is different. It's, this is more on a, a hypothesis, a prediction for the experiment, looking at safety rules around it. What data and conclusions did they come up with? Um, what understanding of space was there within this, and also looking at the teamwork and fun aspect of it as well. Okay, so moving back to the website again, that's the, that was the points rubric. If you also look down here as well, you'll see there's points collection for educational activities and for physical activities. You've also got down here uh, mission journals, so as children go through, they're encouraged to keep a journal of their activities. So there's just some advice about that there. Moving back to the UK Mission X page, and going back into getting started again, the other link that we've got in there is called Mission X Training Center. Okay. 
Now this links to a number of different documents, some of which are from previous years. But you can see there's some training videos about the activities um, from NASA that you can access at the back at the, the end of here. Okay, and there's also something, for example, about how to upload your points here. So you can um, open up PDF there, and it gives you some information about logging in, accessing your accounts, submitting your points. Okay, and it links out to the rubric there. So you put in the points, the activities, the number of students. Okay, and then you can sit, submit information there and save it. We've obviously got the uh, blogs on the website as well. So within each country, you can have your own separate blogs that are then brought together on the main page. So you can see these are the latest blogs in the UK. Quite a few different nice pictures and blogs going onto the site there. 